Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, it is the first day of autumn. Uh, we are going to be doing some feeding of our chickens this morning. They won't take everything that's in this bucket. Um, and we do need to clear them out as well. Uh, but they're the animals that, that really need some attention from us today. So we're just going to grab our spade here and do that. Um, we can see in here, yeah, it's it's basically they have no food left and need cleaning. Whereas the cattle are, are fairly good and the sheep are fairly good. So, uh, yeah, we need to keep working on this. Oh, pick up my spade. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to build a uh, something to do our sheep stuff at some point. But at the moment, we're good. We're fairly good. We are minus 2,000. So we are going to have to get a uh, contract going at some point. To try and get ourselves clear of this uh, issue that we have money wise but we are going to be working our way mainly through the field of barley today now i've been playing around a little bit uh, i've been getting our combines to function properly i've, I've also got a new header we now have uh, specific headers for this uh or for these combines uh, that should help us a bit uh, and means I can make some adjustments. There's some interesting errors I've been finding with the uh, the AI setups and things like cause play though. Now, um, basically, as far as I can tell, the headers that we have, they're based on the standard Bison headers in the game. And uh, it seems almost like the uh, whole AI setups for cause play and things run off the width of the effect boxes on them which is so very very strange wow we had they took all of that did they actually take all of that or do we have a load sticking through yeah we have a load sticking through we need to clean this up uh, but yeah so there's there's a bit of weirdness going on with the headers uh, and uh, and I'm not sure what that causes um, but I have got it to work to, uh, these two combines to work together uh, we have got uh, a couple of good Oh, come on. Trying to get this cleaned up is going to be fun. There we go. Um, we've got a couple of good uh, rows and setups working, I think. It will be interesting to see how these work together once uh, once we get into the field. And I might just go through that. We've got, we've got a little bit of time while we're waiting for the crops to uh, dry out. Uh, I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we also uh, we need to go and get a baler though. Oh, no, actually, we're not going to get a baler. I'm going to avoid using bales on here. Uh, what we're going to do this morning on the farm is actually go and collect up the straw that's already down on the field. Uh, my plan is that we're not going to use a baler initially. We're just going to use our pickup and we're going to put it into the straw loft. So we're going to put piles of straw into the straw loft. Uh, and store that up there. We can store piles of straw. We can store piles of hay. Uh, it's that's all good and uh, and and will work well for us. In fact, what I'm going to do with the hay is I think we're going to try and get a uh, a hay dryer. And we got space in this area here of the yard where we could put a hay dryer in. So I think we're going to try and get a hay dryer uh, eventually. Uh, and uh, because of the issues we have in this with uh, with, had, with drying, we just don't seem to get enough dry days to dry hay at the moment. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. And in fact, how are we for drying stuff today? Can we get away with... What is our weather? Okay, so here's, here's a good example. So today we've got a dry day. Tomorrow we've not. Monday we've got... We need to get this field cut today. Uh, and I'm expecting it to get done fairly early. But we also need to cut our... Uh, ideally, need to get our grass cut today as well. So that's what we're going to be looking to do today. So before we go any further, let's get this stopped here. And let's head over and grab this tractor. Uh, and we're going to get this going with our mower. Because we have field 
Oh, where are we? There we go. Uh, we have Field 91 as well. Uh, and we can get that hooked up to our mower. Uh, get this hooked up to our mower and get this cutting that field. Uh, as it doesn't really have much else to do. Uh, we completed the seeding of Field 61. So that's all done and dusted. And, uh, and yeah, getting this doing the mowing stuff will be fairly useful for us. It's a little bit of overkill for this, uh, but it will still do the job quite nicely. So, there we go. Attach that. And we'll get course play running this as well. Uh, this might dry out today, it might not. Uh, what I am going to do though is take the fencing off this because that is absolutely going to get in the way of uh, our stuff. So there we go, fences out and we can get into this field now and get this cut. So there, generate course, field 91, current vehicle position, We, I'm going to send it around it clockwise. Uh, gonna send it round it clockwise yes we should be all right with fence out so uh, starting direction automatic bypass islands there are no islands headlands uh, I'm gonna give it three headlands I'm gonna do clockwise headlines passes first turn in the corners uh, up down is fine working with right we need to sort our working with up so let's bring this out so, and then we can go back into our course generation, 2.8 meters, and generate the course. So this is not a very big uh, piece of kit, this, but should do us fine, right? We then need an offset, so calculate the offset, uh, and that is zero, so I need to get into a position where I can see my offset being set. Right, and then out a little bit, and you can see it about there. 2.6 meters, 2.8 is going to be too far. I think it's 2.6, so let's try it driving that next closest drive course. And we haven't connected up. PTO and he is off. So that should sort that out and get that done. Meanwhile, we're going to head over and jump in one of these combines. And I'm going to show you what I've done with these. So if we bring up the course play course that we've got on here. And you can see here, this is our outer combine. And what this is doing is this is offset on the left track. Where are we? Uh, this one here. So this is on the right track. So it's actually working this track here. Uh, and I've set, offset it to the right. But then I've moved it back towards this centre bit. Um, because for some reason when my auto width on these headers. It goes to over 5 metres. So this first run here. We're going to get a combine that's basically cutting nothing. When it does this, uh, does this row. But in general... This is lined up nicely with that side there. And then we've got the same thing with this combine here. So if I bring up the settings on that, you can see this is now lined up with that side there. This may cause problems later, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but all in all, it's working fine. And in fact, looking at this, uh, we're good. So I am going to get this to... Uh, I'm actually not going to drive course on this yet. I am going to drop this off the back of here because we're going to use this later. We need to get this uh, this collected up today. And what we're going to do is we're going to empty both combines out before they get started. We want them to have a healthy distance between them. But this will get us started off today. And should mean things are on fine. I've also tried to sort this trailer out. This trailer, it appears, is supposed to go like this. 
uh, I, I, I think it's an issue with the Massey uh, in that the Massey doesn't lower the uh, the upper hitch any further than that uh, if it did then this trailer would be in the right place so it's not a change I can make to the trailer it's a change I can make to the Massey uh, and that just gets too complicated uh, and it seems to load it fine anyway so we're going to keep running with this trailer like this when the Massey pack comes out this uh, this will solve this problem very, very nicely. There we go. So I empty out this combine. And then once our two combines are emptied out, we'll get them started again. And that is the first combine emptied. We'll move around to the second. And I want to get the, the further one moving first, really. And... Uh, in the meantime, what we will do is we will get this to uh, to be collecting up the straw uh, and running around the field doing that in that time. There we go. But that has given us uh, most of a full trailer, 80%. Leave that going and we will start this up. We'll take off that. And nearest waypoint, drive course. Uh, and nearest waypoint, drive course. Perfect. And our two combines now will just keep going around the field. But we can empty this out as we're going. Although this will struggle up this hill. This field with uh, two combines running like this, not as uh, not as bad as I would have uh, I would have thought. So my harvesters seem to be taking some fair, fairly interesting way of doing this uh, land setup in course play. Uh, one is going through and, and sort of doing new bits all the time. Uh, and the other is sort of cleaning up after it, which is very, very odd. Uh, we've got exactly 50% full in this one. Um, but yeah, and just, just creating these little rows all the time. It'd be interesting to see how this works with just a single harvester, I think. Uh, it's uh, it's a little bit of an odd thing, but they are absolutely shooting through this field at the moment. Uh, I think we're going to have this field done pretty quickly today, which is really good news. Um, I'm really quite pleased about that. Uh, and it should mean that we, uh, we get all this barley in. Uh, and maybe even get all of this, uh, uh, all of the straw in as well, and into our hay loft, uh, which would be great. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna deal with piles of stuff here rather than uh, just the. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get a full trailer off here, which we can do off two loads. Come on. 97% that will do so yeah I'm uh, I'm liking this a lot this is uh, this is working very very well this land setup and we've got two combines that are just completely and utterly uh, decimating this field uh, and we're gonna get a lot done this is the best this has gone for a while so very very pleased with this this is um, we're making progress our two combines are making very short work of this field. They are now over halfway through uh, and they're getting on to the longer bit of it. So they're, they're running for that little bit longer. But the tanks are uh, a good size uh, and they're running well. We still actually have a harvesting contract to do. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to get these two finished. Uh, we're going to get... Uh, I'm waiting for that mower to finish. And I think we're then going to use the other tractor to support uh, to support these combines. While this one, uh, we get to row up uh, over here. And hopefully, we're going to be in a position where we're very easily able to get our combines running on this contract. The contract is not very big. Uh, it should They should complete that by the afternoon and, uh, and make us a good amount of money from that it'll get us it should get us out of debt actually doing this harvesting contract uh, which is great news and then i've been looking about seeing if there's anywhere else 
that I can uh, I can grab a harvest from if I was to, to lease the land. Uh, that's not that's empty. Yep, that's good. Whereas our other combine uh, that has now uh, yeah that is ready. So the second combine always has its auger out. The first one uh, is just continually going through the lands and uh, and doing cuttings. Uh, and it's really nice to see these two combines working like this. I am hugely impressed by this uh, this course play setup. We have not had these combines stop the whole time they've been doing this. And uh, and has worked really well now that we've worked out the kinks. I'm hoping these settings that we're using here for them will be able to keep going um, and, uh, and and won't have to change. And then I've got my left combine and my right combine and, and make sure things work well. But uh, in general, I'm very, very impressed by this. Is this... Yep, there we go. 100% full. And this is our third trailer full. So we've, we've got a really good amount of barley off here. We're already at 24,000 litres. Uh, that is uh, that is absolutely cracking, and this this is when a uh, start from scratch begins to come into its own. Uh, very much liking this, and we are we are going to do this without a baler going forward by the looks of things, which is a completely new way of doing things for me. We're getting near to the end of the field now, uh, and I'm just sort of filling up off this one. Uh, yeah, I think that. I think the far one might even be on the outer edge. Not got far to go now. Uh, we are 52% full, so we can take pretty much another full uh, harvester off. I'm hoping the other harvester is going to make it to the end. Right, he's going to be doing the, basically the last run. On here, or maybe not. I think it might be the last run, but it's uh, it's working well, and we need to make sure we empty this before uh, the other combine comes back, uh, because we're gonna have a problem if we do, where their orcas will um, will clash. But otherwise, uh, this is this has gone exceedingly well working two combines on here uh, it's just a pity we don't have anywhere else that's ready to harvest uh, that we can grab other than the contract I mean we have got this contract to grab so we will grab that but the barley is in we've got it harvested before the rains come and we've got plenty of time actually to get this whole uh, to, to go and get the contract done as well. As I said, the contract does not require us to uh, to get any uh, actual uh, straw off it. So we can grab all the straw off this. We can go around here and uh, and grab that with this and uh, and just get that contract going with both of these combines. And I'll try and show you with that uh, with that contract how we have these combines set up. Uh, but I've got uh, one more go off here with this uh, to get. Uh, it's not going to be a full trailer, but we should get a fair amount. Uh, but I think that first combine is finished. And if that's the case, yeah, we want to get that. Yeah, that has got up to the finish. So let's jump in this other one, stop this. And this is our left combine. which is great uh, and that is because I have an offset with it so what I'm going to do is going to take this up the top and we're going to uh, get the header off it and, uh, and get it set up and see if we can get this over to the other field we're getting this off the field and getting this out of the way means that the other combine we won't have an issue with it There we go. And should work well. So that's got that's got the barley off. Uh, we are going to go and get on to our next one. 
and get the uh, get the contract done today as well. That is a really successful combine. If we can also get this uh, straw off here and the, and the grass off the field, uh, that will be massive. So let's get that onto there. And you can see these are I've I've put these headers and these trailers. In fact, I think these trailers are unchanged, but the headers are uh, are now in massive focus of colours and match the combine so much better. So I'll close that and we'll get this lined up here, and then I can get this emptied as well. that up and put the auger out ready and I can get that on the way back. Both combines are off the field and we're just getting the uh, the last little bit from each of their augers like so. It's going to add another 2,000 litres maybe. Oh no over 2,000 litres. Seems to be more in the second combine than there was in the first. There we go. Nearly 3,000 litres on top. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic off that field. Uh, that is pretty much everything I wanted from that barley field. Uh, and we're going to extend that now uh, into, uh, into that area there. Uh, and extend that lower field. Knowing though that we can get that cut that quickly with two combines means that I won't need to split that field and it, and it now means that I don't fear any field that we can buy on here or that we can lease because we're leasing all our fields pretty much uh, because of the cost of our farmyard uh, but yeah that is uh, that is some good news what I'm going to do is going to leave this here uh, so that this can be picked up in a bit and we'll take this tractor back up the top uh, because we're going to keep this uh, uh, 3080 here now uh, to do the, the pick up and uh, the wind rowing uh, when we need to and we're going to use our uh, our bigger tractor to do the carting uh, as it's further and as it's faster uh, for the other what we have done is run out of fuel in our little tractor I completely missed that so we're going to have to get our other one anyway yeah this has plenty of fuel. We refueled this last time. We didn't refuel the other. That's not good. Uh, right. So as I can't do much with that tractor, I think we probably should refuel these on our way through as well. That is not good. Uh, these still have half a tank each. And they drove all the way here. And we can always take the fuel tanks up there. So, yeah. Let's get these in convoy. There we go, that's following. Let's get this going. And we'll get these two up to our uh, field that's got the contract on it. And hopefully get that contract finished today. If we still have it. Now that is the question at this point. Yep, we still do have an active contract on that field. I'm wondering if it's just... Well, we're, we're very close to the end of that contract. Uh, so I wonder exactly what is going on with it or whether it's just certain types of contracts that expire if we're lucky we will actually get this contract done today because we've had this contract as long as or at least as long as we've had the other one or had the other one uh, when it expired so it's a bit weird what is happening with our other combine ah I see what's happening with our other combine we need to get the Cruise control speed up. Then when that other tractor's finished that, we can get fuel to our, our smaller one and, uh, and we can get ourselves going again. Beacons on and uh, we'll get down to the field. This is the contract field on the left. It's field 56. Uh, and it should mean that we can uh, get this done fairly quickly, especially if we get these headers in the right place and get things set up. 
So I think we've got the, yeah, we've got the right combine at the moment. So I want to just uh, drop that off. If our other combine is coming in behind us, uh, we'll stop that going. Bring this round. And get the header on this. So, into there, on, and up, and we're good. And we need to do the same for the second one. And hopefully, we've pulled the other one far enough forward to be able to get this one in. Yeah. There we go. Back her up. And this being the left one, we want to get this started first, but we need to get the uh, the course running. So we have a four meter header set up. Uh, let's have a look at the course play we've got at the moment. So the current settings we have are a working width of four, uh, four meters. Uh, we have a, uh, a 0 0.7 offset to the right. So uh, that is, uh, yeah. To make up for the really straight width it gives us. Yeah, point seven offset to the right, and uh, it is on the left track. So let's clear this course, and we're going to uh, generate a new course, and we're going to do it field fifty six. Uh, we want two headland passes. We're running two tools. Uh, we want headland corners turned and the type we want is lands with six rows per land. Four meter working width, generate me a field course. And that is really, really odd. <coughs> wow, that's odd. That is such an odd setup. Um, that's going to cause issues, I think, when we go around here. So... Let's see if there is a better way of doing this. Longest edge. Create something a little bit more workable. Okay, we can work with this. So let's uh, let's cut into the field. So start her up, drop her down, and in we go. And then we're going to do a nearest waypoint, and this is barley as well. There we go. So that one is going there. Perfect. Uh, oh, and we need to save that course. So field 56. I'm going to save that course. Uh, so if we look at our courses, yeah. F 56. 2. Combine. Harvest. There we go. And then we head over here and we load up that course. Oh, no, we clear off, then we load up the course. Uh, and then we basically do the same thing with our current settings. So, starter up. Down the header. And into the clock. So the day is getting on a bit. The uh, the mower has finished on this field. Um, I'm uh, yeah. We're we're looking at running out of time more than anything here. But we need to drop this off. We need to go and get fuel for our little tractor, and then we need to get this down to the contract field because uh, at the moment we are ready to do 
uh, we're ready to undo our first unload. So, yeah. It's not gone quite according to plan. It's taken a while longer to set up the contract than I'd liked. Mainly because course play has been having issues uh, with the offset. I've had to kind of jury rig it a little bit to get it to work. But it is working. I think everything here though for us to get the, uh, the straw and get the uh, the hay is going to be difficult especially if the hay doesn't dry out in time uh, so we've got plenty of diesel left in our diesel tank here we just need to actually remember to use it uh, when we're running low but this will get this sorted there we go There we are. So refill this. Brilliant. And what I'm going to actually do is, while we're heading over and getting um, stuff done, uh, no, I was going to windrow up the grass, but I want to give it a chance to at least turn to hay. Uh, it may be that we have to to do a sort of extra episode in the middle. Uh, where we do late night. In fact, I think that's probably a good place for us to go at the moment. Because we've got this field done and dusted and all uh, collected up. Uh, we've got too much left to do today, really. To, uh, to do all this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this back down the bottom. And we're going to pick this day up next time. And, uh, and continue on, probably with the time a little bit lower, uh, as it's 6 in the afternoon. Uh, which means that, right now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.